There was a time, right before and right after the presidential election, that information was brought to me that put Mr. Obama's citizenship in question, in my mind. And I looked through it, we, we did all kinds of research, and then we found material and, and papers in Hawaii, newspapers, that I don't think could have been forged, that showed that he indeed was born in Hawaii uh, about two years after statehood. And that solved the issue for me. I said, you know, I can't, I, I believe he's, a, he's a, a, a natural born citizen of the United States under the Constitution. And therefore, even if, even if he acts on American, and it seems to go against American interest, I'd still believe he's a natural born American citizen. The town hall was asking questions about that. And uh, I said, well, that's what I found. If you've got different evidence, bring it to me. And I was actually arguing with uh, the, the sincere people that still had a concern there. And I never suggested that I had any intention uh, at this point of going forward with any kind of lawsuit. But uh, the reporter reported that now I was thinking about going yeah. into a lawsuit. It just wasn't true. The question I, I, I had about it, though, is at the time, before the election, were you were oh, yes. you thinking about the political effect it would have if you followed a lawsuit? Oh, yes. No, yeah. I was thinking about before the election and right after the election, before the inauguration, was definitely considering a lawsuit. Because it, but I wanted to get the facts. And, uh, and yes, I did consider the ramifications. I was very concerned about it, what would happen if I did so. I knew it would hurt me politically. I knew that people would say, well, you know, he's, he's some right-wing wacko or something like that. But I didn't care as long as I was convinced I was doing the right thing. I became convinced that it wouldn't be the right thing because I believed that he was a citizen of the United States. And I still believe that. Uh, and the, 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 the newspaper that wrote an article to the contrary was just completely wrong and they, they just misquoted and, and twisted it so that it, was, it sounded like the exact opposite of what I said. Now all that being said, probably Barack Obama could solve this problem and make the birthers, you know, back off by simply showing us his long, um, his long uh, form birth certificate. That solved the problem. There's some other issue there, I don't know what it is, that he doesn't want people to see the birth certificate. I don't think it has to do with his natural born citizenship under the Constitution. Oh, yeah, so it's a transparency issue, but it's not, we found a, gun, a smoking gun, he can't be yeah. president anymore. Yeah, I see I mean, he mean. spent an awful lot of money to keep people from seeing that birth certificate, yeah. and I don't know why. I just don't think it's because of the, the citizenship issue or where he was born. I think it has something to do with something else, and I, I can't hazard a guess as to what that might be.